문이 열리고 어? 차가 움직이네? 차가 움직여 이런 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 어어어어어어어어어어어어 막아줘요 막아줘요 그리고. 저쪽에 저쪽에 사람이 내리죠? In the traditional gear shift structure of cars, there are occasional mistakes where people accidentally put it in R instead of P. However, these days, most cars are switching to electronic types that only move back and forth. Volvo also made this change from the 2021 model year on all models. requiring drivers to press the P button to shift to park when finished driving. But what if someone forgets to press P and just get out of the car? <laughs> I took a moment to think about it and decided to test it out myself. First of all, I assumed that auto hold was inactive. and I tested it both with and without wearing a seatbelt. This is because some of Volvo's functions can vary depending on whether or not the seatbelt is fastened. 자, 안전벨트를 매고 계열을 뒤로 자, 내린다 안전벨트를 푼다 음, 일단 키가 유지되고 파킹 브레이크 풀고 브레이크 뛰면 앞으로 가요 여기서 문을 열면 그대로 기가 유지되는데 여기서 브레이크를 뛰면 피로 바뀌는 오 안전벨트를 매지 않은 상태에서 기어를 뒤로 딱 놨다가 문을 열면 근데 이게 지금 브레이크를 계속 밟고 있는 거거든요 여기서 브레이크를 뛰면 피로 그냥 바뀌어요 자동으로 헐 The conclusion is that I was pressing the brake until just before getting out of the car. When I opened the door and I took my foot off the pedal, the car hardly moved forward and the gear position immediately shifted to P automatically. However, if I had taken my foot off the brake before getting out of the car and the car started to move forward without me realizing it and then opened the door, 그리브로... Oh, so P to touch back in there. The gear would shift to P with a crunk sound. However, if the speed was over five kilometers per hour, it would not shift to P. It may be for transmission protection, but five kilometers per hour is a speed rather close to a brisk working pace. If someone doesn't realize this, When trying to get out of the car, they should probably just work instead. In conclusion, Volvo covers the driver even if they make this kind of mistake. However, most other car brands are likely the same, aren't they? <laughs>